controller well me and my brother got a new controller so if you guys don't know i've been using a ps3 controller whenever i was playing on ps uh, i mean whenever i was playing on windows 10 and the problem with this is that you kind of have to download software and then these joysticks i like the symmetrical layout joysticks that's like what i'm accustomed to the problem with the joysticks as you see like if i'm moving them too hard i might just have my fingers slip off even though it's rubber uh, the design is okay, but it's, like, creaky, but that's not really a main concern. I like this, like, little kind of, like, rest for your fingers. The buttons I like, uh, I don't really like the PS button because it's, like, a bit mushy and you can't really tell if it works or not. The D-pad is amazing. And then the triggers are the last problem with this controller because, as you see, maybe, like, Whenever I press on the triggers, it's kind of like I can, if I press too hard, my fingers might just slip off and then everything just goes down from there. If I'm playing a game, not the best thing to happen to you. So, I'll give you three seconds to try to guess what my new controller is. Three, two, one. Guess? Say, down, say in the comments down below. Although, my other controller is... Ta-da! Stratus Duo. The reason why I picked this is one, because, I mean, why we, me and my brother picked this is one, because it's a good quality controller. Two, it was in our budget. And three, it's a controller. So, good thing about this controller is that it has a good D-pad, kind of like the one at the PS3. This doesn't have, like, that little thing in the middle. That little, like, kind of, like, void spot here. Which is not a problem, I mean, it's just a minor thing if you want to get nitpicky. Two, I love, like, the clickable sticks. You can really hear it. Compared to, like, to the PS3 where it's kind of hard to judge. You can't even hear it. Like, let me put it near the uh, mic or something. And then PS3. You can, like, barely hear it or maybe not even hear it at all from the camera. And then I like the buttons because normally when I'm playing a game, although this is just, like, a minor if you want to get nitpicky whenever I'm playing a game, they normally don't show up PS... PS PlayStation controls, but they always put up like Xbox buttons. I mean, the triggers are fine, but I just find it slightly confusing whenever they put up Xbox buttons, so that's a good thing from this. You know, A, B, Y, X, you can't really see it because they're like almost blended into the buttons, but you know, that's like just a minor thing. And then you have like these home buttons, which you can clearly tell if you like press on them, which is a good thing. And Here's the trade-off kind of thing. I, I like this like, little rest for your fingers where it's not really, you can not really press anything, which is useful when you're playing a game to just rest your fingers or something like that. On this controller, however, you don't really have that, but that's just like, kind of like a minor thing, I would say. That's why I would want the PS4 controller, just for the sake of that. But, you know, just in nitpicky kind of things. You can always just like lightly rest your fingers here. They have really good big shoulder buttons, which is really useful when they want to switch quickly. They're also kind of comfortable. I kind of prefer these ones more, but you know, eh. And then the triggers I really like because they are able to like cradle my fingers, which is what I really want. Because the PS3 controller, you know, they can slip off, or with these ones, they can cradle. And also, it's more custom to bigger hands because, you know, I kind of have big hands, so this controller fits me perfectly. It's like you combine the body of an Xbox controller with PlayStation uh, layout design, and that's what you get. So, you know, the two main pros of this is that it has, like, this little thing right here, like, this little in-depth section with the joysticks, which prevent my thumbs from, like, really slipping out of it. And, yeah, that's really all about this unboxing. You also got some extra things, like you can see on the top here, maybe. This is the connection mode, so you can switch between Bluetooth and uh wireless dongle which is comes included you have the pair button if you want to pair to the wireless dongle or via bluetooth and then you have the uh battery button which is used to tell how much power it has 
And then you have the power on button, which is currently off right now because I don't want to be using any of the battery. You also have its charging cable, which uses uh, micro USB. It doesn't use USB-C, but you know, that's just a minor thing. It's not really important right now, I would say. So yeah, that's the thing. And then let me show you the wireless dongle, which comes included. It was also packed in like this bag because it was a refurbished version, if, if you can see like right here. Here's the wireless dongle. This is what I'll mainly be using when I play on PC. And then if I do play on Android, I'll be using the Bluetooth wireless mode. And that's pretty much all to it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video for your friends. And we're trying to hit to 100 subs. Uh, if we hit 100 subs, I'll do a live stream. And I'm dropping a nuke on Jailbreak tomorrow, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'll see you next time. You're in quarantine. Make sure to keep it cool. Bye. Boop, boop, boop.